Meet Jay. Jay is just sitting on the couch, basking in the delight of a Monday night football game. And of course, it wouldn't be Monday night football without his plethora of drinks, chips, hot dogs, and candy. But halfway through the second quarter, Jay's festivities are interrupted by terrible chest pain. He finally succumbs to the pain and has his wife rush him to the ER. After Jay receives a litany of tests, including, but not limited to, blood work, EKG, treadmill test, and a nuclear stress test, he is told he needs to stay the night at the hospital for observation. The next day, he is rolled out of the hospital in a wheelchair. He is handed a bill for $34,000. Oh, did we mention his diagnosis? Indigestion. Welcome to Defensive Medicine J. Defensive medicine is when physicians order unnecessary tests, procedures, or referrals just to avoid lawsuits. Now meet Kayla. Kayla broke her leg and had to have pretty extensive surgery. Unfortunately, months later, she is still unable to go back to work because she still has tremendous pain and is unable to walk without limping. So she decided to see an attorney hoping for help with her medical bills and lost wages. So they decide she has a case and file a lawsuit. Kayla gets deposed and they file paperwork. And file more paperwork. And yes, they file more paperwork. Finally, her big day arrives in court and the attorney encourages her to settle. She receives a measly payout and half of it goes to legal costs. Welcome to Litigation Kayla. And she's one of the lucky ones. Less than 20% of negligently injured patients ever receive compensation. The system is broken. But Patients for Fair Compensation has a solution. The Patients Compensation System is a system that replaces the current medical litigation system with a state-driven approach modeled after the workers' compensation system. Instead of pitting physicians against patients at the expense of the taxpayer, this system better aligns the interests of all three parties through an administrative rather than litigious process. In 1910, the workers' compensation system was formed and created a grand bargain between employees and employers. Employees gave up their rights to sue their employer in exchange for guaranteed compensation if they were injured on the job. If an employee is injured while working, he is compensated for medical care and lost wages without fear of losing his job or dragging his employer through litigation. Conversely, employers are protected from lawsuits and can depend on predictable costs in accordance with employee injuries. In order to achieve this harmonious agreement, workers' compensation claims are handled by an administrative process and the patient's compensation system is similar in approach. If a patient like Kayla has a problem, she files an application via a toll-free telephone call and is immediately assigned a patient advocate who guides her through the entire process and assures that all her questions and concerns are addressed. The application is then sent to an independent medical review panel. Here, the claim is examined and the panel determines whether it should be recommended to receive compensation. If the claim is found eligible, a separate compensation schedule determines compensation based on what has historically been paid for similar injuries. If the patient disputes the determination, she can appeal to an administrative law judge. In an effort to assure quality and accountability, all claims submitted to the patient's compensation system are referred, on a confidential basis, to Quality Improvement Department. This department will improve patient safety by tracking data to uncover treatment patterns that help the medical community reduce or eliminate future preventable medical errors. Under the patient compensation system, Kayla has more rights because each of her complaints are heard as her claim travels through an administrative system that costs less than litigation and yields compensation faster and more often. Doctors are no longer threatened by the prospect of litigation, so they are no longer forced to practice defensive medicine thus improving the quality of health care and helping replenish the $650 billion of defensive medicine costs per year, which translates to $2,000 per year each citizen pays to maintain a broken tort system.
With this system in place, physicians can practice in an environment where it is safe to admit mistakes. Creating opportunities to learn and share mistakes with others so that medical errors are reduced. A patient's compensation system more efficiently uses existing funds. The current litigation-based tort system only compensates about 20% of those patients who have been sustained a legitimate medical injury. And it takes five to seven years for the current system to provide compensation to those lucky few who receive it. And then because of attorney's fees, court and litigation costs, the injured patient doesn't get to keep the entire award. However, under a patient's compensation system, Everyone who has been medically injured by a physician would be eligible for compensation, and the process would take weeks instead of years, and patients would be able to keep the vast majority of the award. We all suffer under the current medical tort system, but the patient's compensation system creates a fair, patient-centric system that adjudicates and compensates more patients faster. This in turn fosters an environment that's not defensive but centered on evidence-based care, patient safety, and innovative medical practices, while driving down the skyrocketing costs of defensive medicine. Everyone, Jay, Kayla, the doctors, and taxpayers benefit from this system. To learn more about our solution and join our mission, visit us online at www.patientsforfaircompensation.org or call 1-877-248-1689.